What's up guys, this is Philly Surge RC. Today I have a different kind of video. I'm doing a real rebuild on my Traxxas Max. I'm doing a rebuild on this because this is the V1 with the wide body kit and blue A-arms on there. And what I want to do is I want to put the wide, uh, the wide chassis on there. So, now, I got all these parts right here. I got hot racing hubs that I'm going to put on there, and it comes with um, partly hot racing on there as it is. But I got uh, all these parts right here from my homie J. Mitch. He hooked me up. Gave me a nice little, little deal for all of this. Gave me two bodies, the chassis. I had to buy some parts from um, JRC just to um, complete the conversion. Jenny's RC. Yeah, I got this right here. So what I'm doing is just letting y'all get a quick quick peek before I start it. Yeah, this, you can see, this thing is, it needs, needs work. Needs a lot of work. But so what I was thinking of, since it's so run down, because I bought this used years ago. And this car ran like a champ ever since. So what I'm doing is right now I'm going to just refresh the whole thing. The only thing I'm debating on is what ESC should I put in there. I'm going to keep the motor. I'm like I'm debating what ESC should I put in there. Should I put a, um, I want to put a hobby wing in there. But I'll have to buy it. But the only thing I do have is a, a Mamba X 6S ESC I can throw up in there. I would take y'all through the whole build process, but give me your thoughts here. I was thinking on this body, should I use the unbreakable Max body? It's blue and white, I already got blue arms on there. Or should I just paint me up a body? I like these orange bits too. I was thinking about putting that on there, orange and black. That would be a nice touch. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to y'all when I'm finished the build. Let y'all see how it turns out. Be right back. done the refresh now so this is the outside got the same a arms on there just wide now this was the v1 converted to v2 i went with the uh, different body i was gonna paint the body but then i was like you know what i kind of want to what a factory painted body so i didn't go with the paint Plus, I was gonna make it black, and I'm like, I want, I want that Traxxas look to the car. I don't want, I kind of want my own look, but I want the Traxxas look along with my style. So I added the black on there, the black on the roof, the black on the front. I started to put the uh, roof skid. I started to make that blue, but I stuck to the basic black one. Uh, outside, you know, I got the uh, brand new tires. My homie Chris sold me these tires, brand new. So it's a brand new tire. Um, I should have left it off so you can see better. Let's see if we can get in there. Let's see. Let's see if I can't get in there. Got hot racing hubs in the back and the rear. Both sides. If it would focus. Got it in the front and the inside. Not much. It just, just really, this was like a refresh, rebuild, refresh. Why do you take this money off? So, on the inside of this, I'm running the fact, uh, factory, factory um, steering servo, and factory motor. I'm running the Castle X6S ESC. Got the regular Traxxas transmitter. You know, everything here is new. All new components, new chassis. Well, most of it's new. All the underneath, inside the diff, diff um, housing is all new. This is new, the motor's old, the fan is old. ESC is one of my, took it out of a car and I was like, well, I'm not going to, I'm going to run on 6S, but 
Yeah, this is the end results right here. The before and after. Ooh. Perfect. Yeah, everything is, I tried to keep it factory custom. Had to glue the ESC down with some shoe glue, which is not gonna last. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in here. Like I said, I wanna put a max in here. Put a max in here. Just to finish it up. Now it's all fresh, freshened up. Just seen the before and after pictures. Underneath, let's look underneath. Yeah, I got the same woolly bar, which I plan on changing it out. This thing is dead, it's, I mean, look at it. This thing seen better days. All underneath is brand new. Drive shaft, front drive shafts is a mixture of new and old. The rear is new. The rear drive shaft is new. The center drive shaft is new. The discs are old discs, but they were great in great condition. Yeah, um, this is a whole refresh. Like the car actually practically looks brand new. It looks brand new. It really is brand new. I mean, I changed the grease out, fresh grease, uh, wiped off the, the, the bearings, greased up the bearings. I mean, the, the bearings were a little stiff. I took them out. I had one bad bearing in this car, one, which is surprising. <laughs> it's, it's just shit now. It's running smooth as hell. I put it on 3S just to test it, and, and, and it, was, it was a little beast. Just three S, because my four S's don't fit. Six S's definitely ain't gonna fit. Yeah, but I'd like to give a shout out to Jay Mitch. Check his channel out. Put it in the uh, description below so I can check him out. He helped me with this build. He gave me some parts he had for a nice deal. The hot racing hubs came from him, and it was you know all the extra spare parts. I just with the body, I wanted to switch the body up. I wanted to switch the body up. I wanted more, you know, I wanted some more plastic, so I ordered some from JRC. JRC is a good place to get a lot of factory plastic from. It, it, um, it was really a pretty pretty easy uh, rebuild. It was really pretty, it was very easy. Just this parts, this parts, I had to get parts, wait for parts, that's the only problem I had. Nothing gave me a hard time. The Max is an easy car to take apart, put back together, easy car to maintain. You gotta maintenance your RCs, man. I mean, it's been like this for years. And luckily for me, it's a good RC, so it could take it. And now I finished refreshing it. it should be 110% more. But y'all stay tuned. I got the running video coming up for this soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. And I'm out. Well done.